Hi, this is Donna from Simple Online Solutions. And today we're going to be taking a look at Aweber and using it for your sales funnel. So I'm over here on the home page and I'm just clicking on the features and you can see here it tells me that you can send email newsletters, you can do sign up forms, manage subscribers, you've got autoresponder follow ups, blog posts to email, HTML email newsletters. In fact, the list goes on and on. So to get started with a Weber, it is $1 and you can sign up for that and that allows you to play with it for a month. And it's a really great way to test and see whether you like it. After that, if you decide to continue, it is $19 per month, up to 500 subscribers. And for most small businesses, that's certainly more than enough to get started with it. So we're just going to quickly go through and set up a list and then we'll pop on over and do a web form. And then the last thing I'm going to do is show you how to go over to your website and go in and set up the code in your website to show how you can set up your sales funnel on your WordPress site. To manage lists, and I'm just going to quickly go through and create a new list for you. Okay, so I've given it a name and we'll scroll down here. If I wanted to send it off to myself for a notification, I fill that in and then I simply come along and go save settings. It's asking me the name of my business. Be good if I could type. You have entered an invalid URL, so how about we put the HTTP? And then I think we're right. Great, so I've um, gone through. I can set up my Twitter and Facebook as well and click on Save Settings. And I've basically now gone through and set up my list. It's asking me to do a confirmation email and you can leave it as is or you can go through and you create it. In this instance, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'll put my email address in here again. So from here I can do two things. I can go over and I can create a message. And I would simply create a new follow-up message saying, hey, thanks very much for joining my list. Uh, to grab a copy of my free ebook, click below or whatever you plan to do in your follow-up messages. And then from there you come over here to web forms. And so when you first come in here, you can go through popular, new, uh, they've got some very cute new templates here. It's got kids, sushi, all sorts of things. I'm just going to stick with popular for the moment. I'm going to choose this one called pointer. And you can see here that it's got lots of different colors. You can of course choose red, oceans. That's quite pretty. We'll load that template. And we can change the size if we want. When we're happy with that, we go save web form. And we go to step two and we call it test form. That's good. We'll go to step save and go to step three. It's a good thing it prompts you along the way and you'll notice here it's saying to me, you have not completed all of this, so it keeps you intact. So you can either um, install it yourself, which is the option that I generally choose, or you can do my web designer will install it. Now, when you install it yourself, there's two different options. You've got to JavaScript and the raw HTML. It's up to you depending upon what form. I used to use the raw HTML when um, Facebook was FBML, put that in there. Whereas nowadays you can go back and use the JavaScript because we've actually got um, HTML pages loaded in there. But for this particular demonstration here, I'm going to come over here and just select that. So it's Control and C to select. Then popping over to the website Simple Online Solutions and down to widgets, so appearance and widgets, and then clicking and dragging over here this widget called text. And I'm going to copy and paste in there my little JavaScript and go save. If I then pop over to the website now, you'll notice that there is a blue one here. 
and I've had to redo this video because I forgot to put the plug in. So I'll just reload that up and you'll notice that this is the new blue that uh, I just created. And that's how easy it is to sit it out there and, um, sorry, insert it into the widgets and having it displayed on your website. And of course, if you set up a landing page or a sales funnel page in Facebook, you simply go through and you paste that code in there as well. So it's very, very simple to use. So that is a Weber in a nutshell. It's a dollar to get started. I recommend that you do go and sign up, play around with it, see what you like about it. Um, start then capturing people's email addresses. And of course, using it as a way of keeping in contact with all your customers and prospects. I hope you like this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Post any questions or comments you've got about this video or anything else on either our Facebook page or in the comment section below this post. Thanks very much. Bye for now.